Welcome! We are changing 27 pounds per square inch to grams per square centimeter. I am going to use the dimensional analysis because it's a fail-safe method. We will use these conversion factors. One pound is 454 grams and one inch is 2.54 centimeters, but we need square units, so we are going to square both sides in order to get square inches and square centimeters. So, one inch squared will be 2.54 squared, it means 2.54 times 2.54 times centimeters times centimeters. So, grab a calculator and let's calculate one inch squared is 2.54 times 2.54, it is 6.45, 16 square centimeters. Very good. Now we are ready to convert. Write what you have as a fraction. We have 27 pounds over 1 square inch. And prepare to multiply. First, we are going to change pounds to grams. We are going to take this conversion factor. 1 pound is 454 grams. And we are going to write it here in such a way so our pounds cancel out. We have pounds on top in the numerator, so I will write one pound in the denominator and 454 grams in the numerator. Look here, pounds cancel out and I'm left with grams. So all you have to do is to take the conversion factor and write it as a fraction right here so your original units cancel out and you are left with the desired units. Now we have grams per square inch and we need to have square centimeters. Now we're going to change square inches to square centimeters. So we're going to take the second conversion factor, square inches to square centimeters, and plug it in right here in such a way so our square inches cancel out. We have square inches on the bottom in the denominator, so I will write one square inch on top in the numerator and 6.4516 16 square centimeters in the denominator. Look here, square inches cancel out and I'm left with square centimeters. So let's look, we have grams per square centimeters. It's exactly what we need. Now let's do the math. Collect all the numbers in the numerator and denominator. 27 times 454 times 1, we will have grams, over 1 times 1 times 6.45, 16 square centimeters. Now the, grab the calculator and let's multiply. 27 times 454, we will have 12,258 grams, over 6.45, 16 square centimeters. Very good. Now let's divide the top number by the bottom number. 12,258 divided by 6.45, 16. We will get 1,899.9938 grams per square centimeters. Very good. We can write this answer with two significant digits. The two significant digits are 1 and 8, but we can just chop off 99. So first we need to write it in scientific notation. So grab the decimal point and move it three places to the left. We will have 1.899938 times 10 to the third power, right? Because we move three places to the left, grams per square centimeters. Very good. Now let's round to two significant digits. We are looking at 1 and 8. Look at the number to the right of 8. It is 9. It is greater than 5. So we round 8 to 9. So it will be 1.9 times 10 to the third power grams per square centimeters. Very good. I hope this is helpful. So this is the answer with two significant digits. Very good. I have more videos on conversions. Be sure to practice. And now smash the like button and subscribe and keep up the good work.